The 10-10-10-70 rule is a simple one and an essential part of planning your financial life. There are different versions of this strategy, but this is one of the simplest. The most important thing is that you understand the principle. The numbers and ratios are less important at this stage. So what is the 10-10-10-70 strategy? This is a way of helping you make conscious decisions about what you do with your money from a very broad perspective. In essence, it's how you divide up your money at the end of each month. The earlier you get started using this strategy, the more powerful it will be. So how does it work? Every month when you get your income, before you do anything with it, divide it up into different pots or jars. Of course, you don't need to use actual pots or jars for this. Label the three 10% jars, investments, savings and giving. The last jar, the 70% jar, you can label, living. So now you have four jars or pots. Take 10% of your income and put it into the investments jar. This money is to be invested into something that will give you a good return. You should never touch this money until it has achieved its objective. Remember, this type of investing is usually medium to long term, so get some good advice from a qualified professional on how to do this. The next 10% is for savings. This money is to save up for things, it could be a deposit for a property, a holiday, a car or something else, but one of the things you should prioritize saving up for first, is what's called an emergency fund. This is an amount of money you have set aside in an account in case of an emergency. For example if your car breaks down and you need to get it fixed, if you have no money to get it fixed, it's easy to go into debt to do this. Having an emergency fund helps you to stay debt-free by having money set aside to cover these unexpected events. A good rule of thumb is to have an amount that is the equivalent to three to six months of your monthly expenses in your emergency fund. The next 10% is for giving. It's important to give. This could be to a charity, your church, or really anything that is important to you. There are millions of charities that need help. Whatever your beliefs, it is widely accepted that giving is a good thing, so include it in your planning. The last jar, the 70% jar, is for living. You need to learn to live on 70% of your income. If you do this, you increase your chances of becoming financially free, and the earlier in your career you start doing this, the higher those chances become. You might be thinking, but that's impossible for me. I can't live on 70% of my income, I need all of it due to the monthly expenses I already have. That may be true. It's important to start where you are. Maybe instead of 10 10 10 70, you can do a different set of ratios that might be more comfortable at this stage, while you work towards being able to do it. Perhaps 5 5 5 85, for example. The important thing is to think about it, then find a way to get into the habit of doing it. But what if you're living beyond your means right now? You spend more each month than you earn. If this is the case, you need to do two things as soon as possible. Number one, reduce your outgoings, and number two, increase your income. More on this in another video. I hope this helped you. For more financial education tips and strategies, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can see whenever new videos are uploaded.